Ain't no party like a flamingo party. Fox 5's Danny Masson explains the origin of medieval maniacs tossing flamingos onto the ice after a VGK victory. An NHL ritual turned into a Vegas-born tradition. You look around T-Mobile and you see you know, women with earrings that are flamingos. You see uh, kids wearing flamingo onesies. Flamingos became a vital part in celebrating the night's victories. People going down towards the glass at the end of the game, throwing their flamingos. Drew Johnson, who mainly works in politics, started the tradition in 2018 when it was the inaugural year and Knights had lost two games in a row. I thought, what can we do to sort of rally the team a little bit, sort of show them some love and get things going? I asked Johnson the question we are all wondering, why a flamingo? There's a flamingo road, obviously, the flamingo casino we all know. When a player lifts his leg up to let a puck underneath, it's called a flamingo. Many pink flamingos, just like this one, are thrown out onto the ice after the Knights win a game. Johnson says you can bring your flamingo of choice to the game to join in on the tradition. Whatever, if it's a, a big lawn flamingo like this, if it's a little stuffed animal, whatever it, it may be, they throw it over the glass after the opposing teams left the ice. The flamingos are not only a way for fans to show their love and support for the Knights, but players also engage back. Raleigh Smith for years now has shot the flamingo in the goal. Uh, Martinez and Carrier pick them up and sort of throw them at each other. Johnson says his ultimate goal for the victory flamingo is to see one of those guys in the Stanley Cup, and hopefully that'll be Tuesday night when it happens. Victory stuffed flamingos are now making its way into VGK stores and on clothes. The silly idea I had you know, five or six years ago now has turned into something that'll outlast me. I'm Danny Mastin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.